Hi, and welcome to the 10 square meter workshop. I know I said I'd done all the modifications to my mill I intended to, but you know there's always one more. In this case, the drawbar. If you're not familiar with how these work, the collet or chuck fits into a Morse taper, but to hold it in there, you use a drawbar, which threads into the top and pulls it firmly, with a nut on the top for winding it in. Well, that gets it in, but how do you get it out? Well, usually you have to undo it a couple of turns, then hit it on the head with a mallet to free the joint. That's not exactly engineering. You can do better. Coming up after this. The nut on the top holds it when you're winding in, but when you unwind it, it's free to come out. What is needed is a method of retraining the drawbar inside the channel. Normally, this is done by some form of stop on the top, but this gets quite complicated. And I think I found a better way. The other way of freeing most tapers is with a drift, which you can see in this example where a drill fits into an adapter. The drill fits into the sleeve and the slot there you can fit a wedge to force it back out again. The new drill bar looks like this. At the bottom end there's a sliding part. This fits into the slot which is meant to take the drift to remove a most taper. This is a fit into the drift slot this puts up against the top of that slot, preventing the drawbar moving out. At the top end is this thrust washer bushing. Here is the thrust washer on top of the shaft with the lock nuts on top of it. For test purposes I just locked a couple of nuts onto the shaft and used a spanner. Convinced by the trial that the system would work, I went on to make the top parts for the drawbar. So I turned up a length of bar and milled the centre section square. So it now looked like this. The centre was tapped 8mm to match the shaft. The bush is now fitted at the top of the shaft with a lock nut both above and below so it can be locked in both directions. To make a handle I used a bit of 30mm rescued bar. This was centre pop and drilled out. To 15mm the distance across the flats. This was then marked out and filed square to match the bushing. Until it's a sliding fit for the bush. A small handle fitted and the winder is complete. This drops over the square shaft and the handle is ready. In practice to unwind, you hold the chuck and the handle and it's free. Assembly is the opposite of disassembly. Insert. Wind and remove the handle. I am genuinely surprised at how well this system works. Of course, it's not like the powered lock and unlock systems that some people have fitted to their mill systems, but the round column mill is not really terribly suitable for this. And I don't need such a thing. Or do I? Well, not for the moment anyway. That's all for this time. Hope to see you next time.